All right. All right, what is up guys? It's Nicholas Che back with another video. Today we are talking about my first semester of college. I just wrapped up finals, so I'm officially done for the semester. Luckily, I only had one, which is microeconomics. A lot of my friends have like three or four, which kind of sucks, but I'm done now. Just relaxing for the next two weeks. So Princeton has this thing called intercession, which is basically a week off between the first and second semester. And since I finished my finals early on in the exam schedule, I basically have two weeks where I'm just chilling. So I'm planning on going to Boston and New York later this week. And then for the rest of that, I'll just be grinding out videos. I'm working on some projects while I have time because I'm not going home. I'll just be staying on campus. All right, so let's talk about my first semester. Um, I know a lot of people have been kind of asking about, you know, how the classes have been, how's the social life, how's extracurriculars, and so today I thought I'd just do kind of an unfiltered, unedited, like very genuine reflection on my first semester at college. Um, at Princeton in the Ivy League, what it's been like for me, whether it's met up to my expectations going into college, and um, just to kind of give you guys some insight on how I think my first semester has been. All right, so first and probably most importantly, how are the academics, right? And so classes are hard, and by that I mean relatively hard. Like, like I don't want this stigma of like Ivy Leagues are just this bombardment of homework and tests and quizzes and you're going to be studying every single day and you're going to want to hate yourself and because at the end of the day yes it's a lot of work but i don't think it's unreasonable or unmanageable if you if you know what you're doing with time management which just about every kid here does or is supposed to then you'll be perfectly fine i think everyone does a really great job of balancing academics extracurriculars social activities and um, just maintaining your well-being and health while you're in college so the very first semester princeton kind of only allows undergraduate to take four courses just so you're not overburdened with anything. So I took writing seminar, which is a requirement for all undergraduate freshmen, French 101, analog photography, which is all film, and then microeconomics eco 100. So I can give a little review of what I thought about each class. Writing seminar was really great. I had a great professor. I learned a lot. I grew a lot as a writer. It was just, it was a lot of work having to write a bunch of research papers, but there were topics that I was interested in. So my second one was about legalizing marijuana. My first one was about whether or not we have free will and and then my third one was about Supreme, like the hype around Supreme and hypebeast and things like that. So I mean, it was a really great class. I learned a lot from it. French 101 was, it was a little hard. I have no French experience. I didn't take any in high school or anything like that. I tested out of Spanish. So instead of going further in Spanish, I decided, okay, why not try and be quadlingual? So I know English, Spanish, Korean. And so now I'm taking French 102 next semester um, just to build on that proficiency level. Analog photography was a really awesome class. I got to have 24-7 access to the dark room. So I would go in at midnight, be able to develop and print all my photos. We were given like 35 millimeter and medium format cameras to help and learn shooting um, analog photography. It was a really difficult process, way different than digital in that you have a lot more work to do to process the final image. And then even then, it, if it doesn't look like the way you want, then you have to go back and literally redevelop and reprint the whole picture. It's a big process, but I learned a lot. I think it's kind of a critical skill for every digital photographer to know how to shoot film, 35 millimeter film at least, because I mean, that's the fundamentals of photography. You become a way better photographer if you know how to do that. And then um, the, the photos just look, look a lot better for me. Uh, they're crystal clear, they're super tech sharp, and that grain vintage film look is something that can't be replicated digitally no matter what kind of editing you do. Microeconomics was a bitch. I'm not a fan of it. I think I'm switching out of majoring in econ. I haven't decided what I want to do yet, but I mean, the professor wasn't the best. The lectures weren't the best, meaning I didn't go to all of them. And yeah, I mean, if you're interested in economics, it's a great course, but it's a lot of like self-teaching, but it is an introductory course like Eco 100 and 101, meaning that the class size is like 100, 150 people. Meaning that, yes, you're not gonna have individual time with your professor, but we have preceptors, which are smaller PhD students that kind of break up your classes into smaller groups. So yeah, academics were definitely a bit of a struggle and took some time to get adjusting to. I wasn't pulling all-nighters. Like the latest I really go to bed is like one or 2 a.m. maybe, and that's just because I like getting my sleep. I don't think it's efficient or worth it to be pulling on 90 years because at some point you're not going to remember and retain that information that you're learning, so there's really no point. I think a lot of people get stressed easily here, meaning that, like, yes, it's a hard and rigorous environment, but it's all a mentality, you know what I mean? It's like you can't let yourself get phased out by everyone else who's 
working and being stressed out, you know what I mean? I think one of the biggest realizations I've had is that you don't always have to be stressed. Like stressed is this mentality, it's a state of mind, you know? So for me this semester, my course load wasn't too heavy compared to my roommate who's an engineering student and has a lot more, you know, science STEM heavy courses with a lot of problem sets and homework and tests and quizzes. I had a lot more laid back, which I'm grateful for. But at the same time, he was working a lot more hours than I was, which isn't a bad thing. I've come to the realization that, you know, everyone works differently. Everyone prioritizes their time differently. And as long as at the end of the day, you're being efficient and you know what you're doing and you have a schedule, then that's all that matters. Let myself be okay with the fact that I don't always have to be studying. Even if it is an Ivy League, that doesn't mean that I should kill myself in the library. I mean, obviously, yes, your grades and your GPA are very important, but so is your mental health and your well-being. I overheard this conversation, someone said, hey, do you have something to be doing right now? And, and he said, yes, Princeton, I always have something to be doing. Which, I mean, it makes sense, like, that rang true. For me, it's like, if you're not doing one thing, there's something else on your mind that you could be doing. Which isn't a bad thing, whether it's studying or hanging out with friends or eating or, you know, making time for your extracurriculars. Like, you should prioritize your time, schedule it so that you're most efficient. Okay, moving on to extracurriculars. So I did get heavily involved this semester, which isn't a bad thing. I enjoyed all the clubs and extracurriculars that I'm in right now. So first off, I'm in the Princeton University Orchestra. I play clarinet. We have rehearsals Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but there, since there's six of us, we're not always required to go to every rehearsal. So usually I only go to like one or two rehearsals for an hour or hour and a half each, and then I play on like one or two pieces of each concert, which is a nice gig to have. I'm keeping up my musical ability, making sure that I don't lose that touch with the clarinet. Um, I'm in Simpo, which is this break dancing group. Um, we have a show coming up, so I'm getting ready for that. It's a lot of fun, met a lot of cool people through that. I am director of production for this group called Blase, which is kind of like the elite hip hop group on campus. They kind of cultivated the best dancers, and so they focus on concept videos, and so I'm gonna be in charge of filming all that over the next semester. I'm really excited, it's a huge project, but they brought me on the team and I'm excited to start working with them for that. I direct a few segments for a club called Princeton Tonight, which is an actual TV show that is aired on New Jersey television. We do pranks, we bring in artists, we do a lot of different uh, things around campus and it's a really great program. I've also done a lot of photo and video stuff, so I've done a lot of like freelance video works that you've probably seen on my channel for a lot of the dance groups. Um, that's gotten my name out there. A lot of people are really impressed with the work I've been putting out, which is awesome. I do headshots also, and then photography. I've been, you know, just asked to take event pictures or headshots or LinkedIn pictures, which is good business for me. Okay, next up is the social scene. My friends who I've been hanging out with. So yeah, when I got to campus, it was definitely a big change coming from a high school where I knew a lot of people. I had a solid group of friends. I had the boys, and then I had, you know, just different groups of people that I would always hang out with. But now, Coming here, it's definitely a mind shift in that like there's thousands of people and you can't be friends with everyone. So the people you do meet, you're gonna have to like cherish those friendships and make those grow stronger. I've met so many great people all around the world, um, people that I never would have had the opportunity to meet unless I came to Princeton. And you know, everyone's super smart, everyone's super talented, everyone is very, you know, nice and kind and genuine as a human being, which is a great change coming from my Texas public high school where, you know, people weren't as open-minded, people weren't very, you know, open to other ideas or beliefs and things like that. So coming here where it's a fairly liberal school, it's been a nice refreshing change to not have to worry about, you know, always being judged or stereotyped or anything like that. Compared to high school, I don't feel like I'm being, you know, looked at differently or, you know, judged or in any way. Like, I think all that bullshit is out of the way, which I'm super grateful for. Um, my friends, I've been hanging out with, you know, just different people, my roommates, the people that you meet during orientation week, people you meet in your classes, in your extracurriculars. And yes, it's hard to find that group. And I still haven't found my group of friends, which isn't a bad thing. I'm only my first semester in. That stuff doesn't really happen until like sophomore, sophomore even junior year where you really find that close group of friends but I mean it's alright I've met a lot of great people and grown a lot as a friend and as a person and as an intellectual which is obviously the most important part of a college education um, I mean other than that like the parties are great the social scene is awesome like like yeah I miss my friends I miss my family I miss being home and even though it's the first semester I did go home like two or three times but like spring semester we only have one break for spring break and I probably won't be going home so I'm not going to see my family until June which is a little bit of a bummer but I mean I FaceTime them every now and then and it's nice to just stay in touch. 
So yeah, those are kind of my big accomplishments this first semester. I'm kind of proud of how far I've come. I did, you know, surpass all my expectations that I had set for myself and my goals, which is a great feeling to have. As far as like GPA, like I really don't know what I'm ending with. I probably wouldn't share that anyway. But you know, that's my first semester. I hope this has provided some kind of insight. And this whole YouTube thing, it's definitely blowing up. I really feel like I'm able to have like a genuine conversation with my audience and you guys and my fans and my supporters who have been with me since, you know, I've been under 1K, 2K, 3K, and now I'm at 8K, about to hit 10K, which is insane. Thank you guys for the support. Please comment down below any video ideas you have for the next two weeks. I'm just gonna be cranking out videos so I have them ready to um, upload. Anything you guys want me to talk about, I'm you know well versed in a lot of different things, fashion, technology, photography, videography, college. So I mean, anything along those lines, leave them down below. I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching. Your boy Nick Shea, I'm out.